facing waterfall. Oh, 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 oh. Welcome, guys, to today's class. In this video, we want to discuss something else, and that is possible slope you can get from simple pendulum experiments. Yes, if you check our channel, you will notice that we have uh, uploaded experiment or simple pendulum. Yes, you will see how we discuss everything there. You also notice that we got a slope. We got a slope and that slope is 25 centimeter per watt second square. Because what we did there is that we plot a graph of L against T squared. We plotted a, gra a graph of L in centimeter against T squared in second squared. So we got this as our slope. We, then we solve the error in the slope as well. Yes. Now in this video, we want to now see how you can get the slope. How you can know if you are correct from the slope you got. And from there, we know if I am correct in that experiment I uploaded on my channel. Okay. And so, look at the formula relating T, L, and G in simple pendulum. That is T equals to 2 pi root L over G. Understood? There are two possible graphs one can be asked to plot a simple pendulum experiment. That is graph of T square. That is in second squared. Against... L in centimeter, either in centimeter or in meter, and graph of L in centimeter or in meter against T squared in second word squared. Are you getting it? And so these are the possible graphs one can be asked to plot. Whichever one that will determine what you are to do to this equation you have. Now let's go. I want to talk about T squared against L. Afterwards, I will talk about if I'm asked to plot L against T squared and see how the slope will look like. After getting the slope, we'll be able to deduce our G as well. Let's see. Okay. Now for the first one, that is T squared against L. I will go to this formula. What can I do this formula so that it will have T square? What I will do is I'll say square both sides. T squared is equals to 2 pi root L over G all squared. I am squaring both sides. Because what you do in the left hand side is what you do in the right hand side for it to be balanced. Okay, T square obviously will be T squared equals to 2 raised to the power of 2, 4. Pi raised to the power of 2, pi squared. Pi raised to the power of 2 is pi squared. Then, square root is here. Square root is opposite of power of 2. So here will be L over what? G. So you have gotten T squared equals to 4 pi squared. L over G. Now from here, carry this L, bring it down. You will be having that T square is equals to T square over L is equals to 4 pi square all over G. Can you see it now? That means if you are asked to plot the graph of T square against L, what you will be having is the slope will be equivalent to this. The slope will be equivalent to 4 pi square over g, okay? And so, what you do now is, recall that g constant is constant. I mean, g, which is acceleration due to gravity, is constant. And that is its main aim of performing simple pendulum experiments. That is to find acceleration due to what? Gravity. So that g is constant in earth or on earth, you have it to be 
equals to 9.8 meter per second square or 980 centimeter per second squared. But because no one is perfect that could error can come in while performing this experiment. And so there is always a range one should meet up before he can be what uh, accepted. Okay, for this, the range is 9.54 to what? 10.06 meter per second square. Then for this, is 954 to what? 1006 centimeter per second squared. Okay, and so that is about that. Uh -huh. So, what we do, since this is the possible range we should note or take note of, we have to apply them here. We are talking about 4 pi square over g, and we will do it in respect to meter per second square, we do it in respect to center per second square. Okay, let's go. For this one, we have it to be 4 pi square all over g is 9.54. Whereas for this one, 4 pi square all over 10.06. Okay? And uh, for this one, we say it is a uh, 4 pi square all over 954. Then for this one, we also say 4 pi square all over 1006. That is in centimeter per second square. Now, if you do the one of 4 pi square, if you do the one of 4 pi square all over 9.54, you'll be getting 4. 138. Then, if we do 4 pi square all over 10.06, we'll be getting 3.924. Both are in meter per second square. So, you notice that this number is bigger than this. So, we say start from the lowest. The range is between 3.924 to what? 4.138. This is when you are talking about. T square against what? L. And the unit is a meter per second square. So this is the possible range you should get. So your answer should fall between this range. Okay? Then for this one, 4 pi square all over 954. 4 pi square all over 954 will be giving you 0 0.041. 4 pi square all over 1006 will be giving you 0 0.039. Both are in centimeter per second word squared. Okay? And so, what you'll be having is, since this is bigger than this, we say the range for this is 0 0.039 to what? 0 0.041 centimeter per second squared. And so, if I am plotting with centimeter and the time second square i should know that the range should fall in this so if the range didn't if your answer didn't fall in this range you are wrong if the if your answer is not in this range you are you are wrong if your answer is not in this range you are wrong okay then we'll be able to see the slope that means if you are getting 3.924 as your slope. If you are getting 3.924, that means your G is equivalent to 10.06 meter per second square. That is when your length is in meter and your T square is in second square, which is always in second square most time. Then, if you are getting 4.138, your G automatically was 9.54. Yes. So that means... If you're able to get your slope, since your t square, your slope is t square equals to 4 pi square over g. That is where you are plotting graph of t square against L. Are you getting it? That means this slope I got, if I'm to deduce my g, I will say cross multiply. This is my slope, t square over g, which is equivalent to this. I will say my g 
deals will come up. This I'll take it to be my slope. Slope equals to four pi square over g. Therefore, my g is equal to four pi square over slope. Yes, that is how to deduce your g. If you do not want to plot the graph or even uh, perform the experiment. That is how you deduce your G. Just pick a value. In our video on that channel, we pick 970 cm per second square. We pick 970 cm per second square and we use it to teach how you can manipulate your values, plot your graphs, and answer some questions. And so, 4 pi square over slope, 4 pi square over this slope will be giving you what? 10.06. 4 pi square over this slope will be giving you 9.54. 4 pi square over 0 0.041 will be giving you 954 centimeter per second square. 4 pi square all over this, which is your slope, will be giving you 1006 centimeter per second square. So, note this, if you are asked to deduce your G after plotting it. Uh, after doing your graph, your experiment, everything, deduce your G. Look at how to deduce it. Four pi square, all over the slope you got. Yes. And so, we have seen that if one, after calculating his slope, it didn't fall in this range, and he's plotted a graph of T square against what? Length. And that length is a meter. Meter, it should fall in this range. And if the length is in centimeter, it should fall in this range. Also, the slope, well, after gotten it, your g is 4 pi square over slope. Please note it. Then we go for the one of you plotting the graph of L against T square. Yes, please try to check the channel, Chidon Daniel. Once you check it, try to type maybe physics practical. You will see a lot of things on physics practicals. Yes, so that you can watch and watch and learn a lot. Okay. For the one of L against T square, that means from this, from this uh, formula I have here, from this formula I have here, I have to modify it so that L will be at the numerator and T square will be at the denominator. So look at how I will do it. G will come up and T square will come down. We have G equals to 4 pi square L over t square yes what i just did is i carry t square down and carry g up i am considering this one now i'm considering the second one when you are asked to plot the graph of t l against t square whether it's in meter or in centimeter let's check then what happens here is that this four pi square will come this side it will be giving you g over what 4 pi square is equal to L over T square. You have seen it now. Plotting graph of L against T square. That is giving you G over 4 pi squared. Okay? And so, go, going back to what we have here, we said that if we, you, it's meter per second square, the range will be this to this. Okay? That means for this one, for 9.54, I should be having, I should be having 9.54 all over 4 pi square. Then for the 10.06, I should be having 10.06 all over, 10.06 all over, all over 4 pi squared. That is the range. We are considering the range now. We should say it's between 9.54 again. And this is the G we are talking about. The acceleration due to drive, which is the major aim of performing simple bedroom experiments. Then we also said that for this one, this is uh, 954 all over. So what is this unit? This unit is meter per second squared. That is this unit. That is about this unit. So this is 4 pi squared. Then you will be also having a, 
all over 4 pi square. That is in centimeter per second squared. Okay? Okay? So, that is about this. Remember, this one we said is a graph of what? T square against L. Please, T square against L is opposite. T square is second squared against what? Second squared against meter. That is for this, and this one is second squared against uh, second square against centimeter. Please take note of this uh, um, um, correction I just made here because we are plotting the graph of t square against l, and so your slope should be second square over meter. If it is, if l is in meter, then for this one is also second square over centimeter if the L is in centimeter. But for this one of L over what T square, this is meter per second square or centimeter per second square. Then for the one of 9.54, 9.54 in terms of meter per second square, we'll be having 0 0.242, 0 0.242 and uh, 0 0.255. So that is in meter per second squared. So for the one of centimeter per second squared, this is 24.17. And uh, for this one, this is a 25.48. That is in centimeter per second squared. So you've been able to see the value of your slope possible value for your slope if you are plotting the graph of l against t square look at the possible values if you are plotting the graph of l against t square in terms of centimeter and second square in terms of meter per second square look at it in terms of centimeter per word second square look at this so in that video we upload that we were able to get 25 centimeter per second square as our slope and it falls in this range because we plotted the graph of centimeter um, length against period, uh, square of the period. So it falls in this one. That is how we know we are correct. And so, since we have our G, G over 4 pi square to be equals to what? To be equals to slope. To be equals to L over T square, which is the slope. If we are asked to get your G, what you now tell them is that, therefore, making G subject of formula, G will be equal to 4 pi square times your slope. So, G will be equal to 4 pi square times your slope. In this case, it will be centimeter per second square or meter per second square. That is value for your G after solving. So it depends on the unit of your length. It depends on your unit of your length. That is it. Remember the correction we made here. We said T square against length. That is S second square over meter. Uh, for this one, second square over centimeter. So take note of the correction then for this one this g the unit will be centimeter per second square or meter per second square depending on the unit of what your length that is depending on the unit of your length I think we have been able to talk about this without performing the experiment plotting the graph and giving ourselves headache you can sort it out with the formula so that you know if you are correct or if you are not correct thanks for watching the video see you next time